Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on where you are. Today I wanted to bring you a different deck than what I've been showcasing. Uh, it's still absent, but I kind of took it a different way. Uh, right now I'm playing absent reanimator. So uh, what I'm running here is basically a whole bunch of cards that put stuff in your graveyard um, in order to reanimate them back with the ultimatum, um, the eerie ultimatum. So uh, I am running two of the Barrier of a Bones, which let us surveil, um, and it's a one drop that is, helps us against aggro matchups. Um, I'm running two of those currently, and I'm running two Want of Vertebrae in order to be putting consistently stuff into our graveyard. Sometimes we do put the card that we need, and there's no way to get it back as of yet, uh, but uh, it does basically feed our graveyard in order to put the stuff that we want there and reanimate it with the Eerie Ultimatum. Uh, we're also running uh, some Rampers, uh, so Lifkin Druid, we're running four of those. <coughs> uh, we're running four of those. And of course, we are running the Paradise Druid uh, because of the Hexproof, uh, being able to just kind of sit there uh, and uh, generate mana of any color whenever we need it. Uh, because we are playing some off-color stuff. Uh, we also have what I think is the best card in the deck right now uh, as far as putting stuff in our graveyard, which is Corpse Churn. Uh, which at instant speed, you just basically put three cards uh, from your uh, deck to the graveyard and then just bring a creature back, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, in one of the matches, I bring back um, the uh, Mutate Creature. Um, I bring I bring uh, Nethroi Apex of Death back from the graveyard, and then I just ready made everything that was in the graveyard at the time. Uh, uh, we are playing two uh, Guild Globes, um, just because, again, we are running uh, Nico Bolas. Uh, and if our uh, Paradise Druids die, then we want to make sure that we're still able to cast them. Uh, since it does give us two mana of different colors. And we're already playing black, so we only, all we need is the blue and the red. Uh, so it also lets us draw a card. Uh, make sure that we're having this in our hand before we start putting stuff into the graveyard so we don't put that back in there. Uh, for more life gain and kind of early removal, we're running Vraska Golgari Queen, which is another perfect target to reanimate uh, with Eerie Ultimatum once it dies. You know, you're just basically using it to remove a creature, then they're going to attack it back, it's going to die. That's perfectly fine. Um, we're also running uh, some of the Cavaliers. Uh, the Cavalier of Night is just another removal. I currently only own one, uh, but it's also life gain. Uh, it also makes us sacrifice a creature that maybe we want in the graveyard at the time uh, because we can get it back afterwards. Uh, another great piece, which I think this is also one of the spiciest things right here, is that it's the Cavalier of Thorns. Just because it puts so many uh, cards into the graveyard and then it also places a land into the field to get us closer to the Eerie Ultimatum. Uh, so I've had really success with the Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm running more of these. Uh, I think this should be a 4 off. Uh, and once I have the... Um, the other copies of it, I'll, I'll definitely incorporate it somewhere in there. Um, and then, of course, we have uh, Tulsimir. This one could be replaced by the Cavalier. I think that's probably one of the ones that we can cut. But currently, again, it's just another reanimation target. Brings two bodies, gains us life, and so on. Um, and then, of course, Nathroi, Apex of Death, is one of the main cards here. Um, you know, most of our creatures have low power. So, like, you're able to bring, like, all of this back. And a couple of those back and still be able to bring you know the big creatures the big enders um we are running one of revival uh which this one should also be a four of uh in the deck just to bring stuff back such as this um Villas broker of blood uh, and then again of course we are running nicobolas the dragon god just as a planeswalker something that we can reanimate for free with the eerie ultimatum uh, two Garrix, uh, Curse Huntsman for Creature uh, Factory and Removal and a Finisher as well as a second Finisher. Uh, Aerial Ultimatum. This needs to be a 4 of guys. Uh, I don't currently have the rare cards either, but this needs to be a 4 of. It's amazing. This card is insane. Uh, and this one is just kind of more for draw cards. I don't think I need two of them. Uh, I think it should be just one. Uh, but basically, you know, whenever you take damage, you draw the many cards. Uh, at one game, which is not shown here, I, somebody actually, um, the cycling damage one, they did that for like 18 and I drew 18 cards and I lost. I drew, I drew out. <laughs> uh, for the lands, uh, it's pretty standard, of course. Uh, the only thing that maybe can would stand out would be the Sagath Triumph. Uh, just because... Uh, 
it, it does uh, provide the blue, so maybe another, just one blue source there so that we only have to match one other color here. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, so let me show you some gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this deck. I had a lot of fun with this deck. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. Thank you very much for watching. All right, so we're going to continue playing a forest, and we're going to play the Paradise Druid just to have a hexproof person up. Playing Teamer. All right, so now let's play the Lifkin Druid, and we probably want to... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just played the forest. I guess I'm going to have to shock myself. Alright, and play that to draw a card. Perfect. So that's what we want to see. We want to make sure we're putting stuff in the graveyard. Oh, some sort of uh, mutate deck. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's play the Cavalier of Torns. Let's see what we put in the graveyard. Alright, so we have Garrick in the graveyard. That's good. Uh, basically, we just need a... A hero ultimatum, and we can get it now. You know, we just bring all that stuff back. Alright. It's maybe like a five color thing. I think that taps for. makes stuff tap for any color, yeah. Okay. So. All right, perfect. So an engine to put stuff in our graveyard. Let's go ahead and activate it now. See what we put in the graveyard. We didn't need that. Perfect. Let's get three more stuff in there. Ooh, that's one of them. All right, perfect. So now we're going to be able to bring all that stuff back at some point if ever, something were to happen. And uh, the good thing about this is that uh, there's not a lot of uh, humans. I, I don't. There's no humans in the deck. So any card that's out there on the field basically... Uh, Let's us bring stuff back and you know Garrick Wolves. So let's sort that out. Let's sort that out. Alright, what's he gonna destroy? Do Alright, so he doesn't like us putting stuff in the graveyard. That's not good here because I guess because he already knows he saw what we were trying to do. Um, if he swings, we're probably not going to block. We're at 18, so... Yeah, no blocks. Ooh, that's nice. But first, let's bring everything back. See if he scoops then. Uh, yeah. We'll put the Paradise Druid. Just so it can have Hexproof. Over, of course, over. So we're bringing 10 power with three creatures. That's awesome. Uh, we go, if we attack, we go up to 15. Yeah, no reason not to. Perfect. So you guys see the deck is, uh, the deck is performing like, it, like I wanted it to. Uh, all we're missing really is uh, more stuff in the graveyard and then the eerie ultimatum. What is he gonna do now? What you gonna do when they come for you? All right, he's thinking very hard. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, that's interesting. Couple of stuff to bring back, but nothing to bring them back with yet. Right. So it's gonna pass the turn. Uh, let's go ahead and scry, see what's up there. What's in the top of our library? Oh, great, another land. We don't need that. Um, let's go ahead and play. Yeah, let's go ahead and play the Nicobola. So red and blue, sack it, and then come out, Nicobolas. 
This should definitely make him scoop. <laughs> Unless he counters it. Yep. Just what I thought. So, perfect. The deck's playing pretty good. Victory number one. Looks like a great hand. We have the mana. We have uh, the corpse torn to put stuff in our graveyard. Adventurous Impulse. Okay. Oh, okay. So, some sort of a uh, mutate deck. Perfect. Uh, we'll start with the Trigome. Trinome. Trigome. It's Trinome. I know. Don't judge me. Alright, so I think we're going to play the Paradise Druid now. So, kind of get our mana up there. Okay. Place planes. Okay. So, I guess it's ramping as well. Uh, let's play this tapped and pass the turn. Nothing exciting so far. Uh, I'm hoping to reanimate some targets in the future. Maybe I should have played it untapped. I could have done double corpse turn. So we only get to do it once, unfortunately. Uh, oh, that's good. And now uh, we probably want to. It looks like he's ramping as well, so we want to maybe take him off of some mana. So let's shuck this in and let's play Tulsimir. I knew there was a reason I played you in this deck, buddy. Alright, so we get rid of his mana ramp. What is he gonna do? I mean, he could mutate that if he wanted to. Place another land. Looks like he's going for mutate. Or not. Not. Alright, so he's gonna. <sighs> it's gonna remove our creature. Not a problem. So we'll play our Cavalier with Horns. Pretty good card here. Get a. Uh, it's a hard choice. I do want to scry, but let's go with the Shockland and see if it lets me. Oh, it does let you chalk it in. So I know there are some cards that. Kind of force it to come in tap, so this one doesn't. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack. So we have six mana available. Oh, okay, so he mutates this, he gets two little cats. Uh, what do we have? So let's go ahead and play this since we have the blue man already. Get rid of that. I don't want. I don't want more cats to be spawned. So let's get rid of his creature. Let's cry. Put that on top. Not really. I lied. Do not leave that on top. We don't need that. Why didn't I attack? I should have attacked. That was my bad. Ooh, Nissa. Okay. It's a good thing that uh, we got rid of the cub. Plus us into the forest. Still can't do that. Let's make him sacrifice something. Ah, I don't need that. What do we have in our graveyard? Nothing exciting. Surveil the... Nope. Oh, oh, he scooped. Even better. Perfect. Uh, so that's 2-0 for us. Let's see if we can beat Fluffy Nappers. So this looks all right. Probably shock. Mm. No. Either way, we we're gonna have to shock. Uh, just put star spawning stuff in our graveyard. All 
Alright, so some sort of teamer or red blue. What could you be? Flappa. Alright, so this lets us put another four cards in our graveyard. Oh, okay, is this kind of party? Okay, three really good stuff. Let's get the Lifkin Druid. And what else? Okay, that's fine. As long as it's not our Eerie Ultimatum, we're fine. We definitely need the mana, so. That's the hardest part about this deck, knowing when to mill. I just mill every time. I'm not I'm not an expert, so I just mill every time. Uh, oh, it's a drawing party. Great. Sometimes I mill the stuff that I don't want to mill. So like right now we're missing a white source. Good thing it wasn't a white source that we milled. But it's gonna it's getting those numbers up there. Okay. I like that. Hmm. All right, opponent, what you got? The Kraken. More draws. All right, so there's some sort of deck that just relies on drawing cards, which is not bad. The Kraken seems pretty good. Seems one in the air. We take it. All right, so let's get rid of... Uh, Let's get rid of the Kraken. We don't want a whole bunch of tokens just all the time. Oh, we didn't want to mail that. Okay. Let's see. So far, we're containing it. Another one of those, okay. So now I guess to spawn two things per turn. And the ominous seas keeps growing. So we are gonna gain four life back though. Let's see what we mill. Probably get the leaf green droid. Oh, well, those are our only target, so. Attack for four. Gain four back. Go to 19. We're in a good place. Next turn we have two, four, five, six. We have eight mana. Oh, there's our white source. Great. We didn't want that to happen. But it happens. Oh my gosh. It's gonna make an 8 8. You okay? I mean, you can talk, it's fine. Oh. That's my wife, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Alright, so he's gonna make a whole bunch of creatures. Oh my gosh, so many. That card is so good. Uh, right now, I don't think we should block. But that's, what, that's 8. Yeah, I think we lost this one, guys. Uh, maybe if I block with the knight. No. If I were to block with the knight. We only had a reanimator spell. Yeah, let's just block with the night gain four. See if we can get a reanimator spell in the next draw. So block here. Hope for a reanimator spell. And see what happens, guys. Alright, so we draw a land. That's exactly what we wanted, right? Nice. Uh now I can cast my big dude, but I don't think it's gonna do much. Oh my goodness, countered. Did not expect that at all in this deck, but pretty good. It also takes it also deals three damage to us, so uh yeah. I think I think we lost this one guys. But that's okay. You can't win every time. Cause that wouldn't be fair. Right? So we'll take this loss and Maybe do one more game. 
uh, to finish the finish this video. He's flexing. He or she is flexing. Yep. Now, if you guys like the ominous seas egg, you should definitely check mine out. It's a blue white one. Uh, it's pretty good too. Uh, won some pretty. Uh, won some pretty fun games with it. Uh, so now the only thing I can do is cast. Oh my god. Cast the Nicobolos. But I'm a two, so yeah. Yeah, guys. So we get we'll we'll get we'll give him that one. All right. So let's go to the next game. Uh, Iron Mickey. Damn, play them for this is perfect. So we have stuff to put in the graveyard. Uh, I wish the Nicobolos was not in my hand, but we do have the reanimator spell. It's gonna it's gonna be so good. Uh, we have the land. We have the spells. Alright, so this looks like a keeper. Alright, so that looks like a good hand. Alright, so let's get started. So we're going to play the Overgrown Tomb Tapped. No reason to pay life right now. Uh, Alright, so some sort of Boros. Let's play our handy dandy Paradise Druid. Next turn, I think I should put a whole bunch of cards in my graveyard, or pay to life, make sure it doesn't tap us wrong. So let's play the Leaf King Druid. And then we have the Corpse Churn. And we already have five mana out. Which is crazy, you know, in turn 3, 5 mana, it's pretty good. You know, we're only 2 mana away from the reanimator spell, so. Don't kill it, don't do it. Damn you. Alright, uh, no attacks. So, we are hoping to hit a Cavalier... But we also need the land, so I don't know. Ooh, never seen that be casted for the full cost ever. Uh, all right, no creatures, just this one. Yes, land. So now we have the seven seven mana. Um, now we have six mana. Gosh, Guile J, learn how to count. Right, so four mana. Okay, so it's not a Winota deck or Winota, whatever her name is. I hate that deck, but it's pretty good. Ooh, that's not good. All right, so he's uh he's clear our board. Maybe some sort of Boros flyers. I would assume he's playing. Yeah, it deals damage to non flyers. Okay, to the meme. Recast. Okay, good. All right, so what do, what can we get here? Perfect. This is what I this is what I'm talking about. And then we we're gonna mill four cards, put a land, hopefully from there. Oh my gosh! See? So now we have another um another card to reanimate. We have a planeswalker. We have a bunch of creatures. 
this is where people usually scoop. Uh, luckily, he's not playing any blue, so obviously there's no counters. So we're definitely going to fire this off if my Lifkin Druid doesn't die. Um, the reason I left the land there is just in case he does die. It uh, gives us another, gives us a land. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have a trick. Alright, so we're just taking one, two there. And... Let's spin the wheel. This is what we came to do. Abs and Reanimator, Eerie Ultimatum. Let's bring one, two, three, four, five, six cards. That's that's the power of the deck right here. And then we put more stuff in the graveyard, which is awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and you want to see this channel grow, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. Want to know when a new video is available? Well, there's a button for that too. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.